than 1,490 kilograms. With a very low power to weight ratio, that makes it a high performance hybrid. With less than 3.2 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour and more than 320 kilometers per hour top speed. Result, it will be faster on the Nordschleife than the Carrera GT. Equally record-breaking with a moderate driving style fuel consumption of about 3 liters per 100 kilometers and CO2 emissions of about 70 grams per kilometer are possible. And the Porsche 918 Spider can be driven by electric power only with a range of up to 25 kilometers. The sporty response to the hybrid topic. The Porsche 918 Spider has been developed from the genes of the legendary Porsche 917. The outcome is an extremely flat sports car with the distinctive proportions of a racing car. Porsche DNA, so to say. In the cockpit, the 918 Spider follows in the footsteps of the Carrera GT, for instance with the ascending center console plus three freestanding instruments. The operating concept points the way to the future. Central control functions are found in the multifunctional sports steering wheel and the touch panel surface in the center console. It's destined to change the way we drive sports cars. The Porsche 918 Spider is one of our answers to urgent environmental issues. And yes, we respond with higher power, but also with lower fuel consumption. A contradiction? Not at all. It's the principle we call Porsche Intelligent Performance. All right, Brave. Speedster Part Duh. The record electric signature edition. If we're gonna put my name on it, I don't want all that crap in it like we had on the first one. <laughs> I, we're gonna have to clean it up a little we're bit. We're gonna have to clean it up a little I, bit. I'm, I'm with you 100. All right. So this has got to look good. Um, first thing, I guess we're gonna put in the uh, motor, so, so we can work around that and get our measurements for our rear mm -hmm. battery boxes. Um, we have an adapter um, from EV Canada. Uh, it's yeah. kind of the source that we get it. I think I got that from EV Source, didn't I? But it, it's an <laughs> adapter made by uh, EV Canada. Yeah, it is. They're about 850 bucks for the adapter and the coupler and so forth. And we're going to put that together for you here in a minute. But um, let's uh, do a trial fit of this adapter on the transmission. I know you've been uh, fooling with this. What did we find? Well, we've got a really, we've got the adapter as a standard adapter for a VW transmission. Mm -hmm. And that'll work on any transmission. The, the situation arises that sometimes we have non-standard transmission mounting schemes, and we have one of those now with the Beck. Uh -huh. um, a much better transmission mount than, uh, than the stock VW, mm -hmm. because they built a, uh, a frame, uh, the tube frame that we talked about it with our first Speedster. Mm -hmm. But it does come back here and uh, interferes with the two bottom ears of, this, uh, of the adapter, maybe... Three. Where, where our bolts connect the adapter to the transmission. Where our, right, so it's, it, there's, there's some metal and a rubber bushing, a little housing. So they've got a great little um, frame built around this. Absolutely. Tubular steel and a bracket, but we've got a couple of big uh, grade 8 bolts. What are those, three-quarter? Uh, it looks to me like they are. Those are some pretty big... Uh, pretty big bolts he's got through there. Yeah, they're great big bolts. This is a very solid foundation, and particularly when we're going to hang 140 pounds of motor off the end of it. Right. I like this. Yes. Um, but uh, our two lower, and that's not too big a deal because they are the lower. They are the lowers, yes. So we're going to have some pressure on them. So you're going to have to remove some material here. Yeah, it looks like maybe three quarters of an inch across, maybe half an inch up. So we're just going to notch this out on uh, both the lower uh, left and right mm -hmm. and that should allow us because we do have a little ring here and we've got to make sure that this seats up with the transmission and that this uh, that this little centering ring is inside of the transmission as well mm -hmm. so we know that all of our all of our uh, motor and coupler flywheel are all centered 
While we're on the topic, this comes drilled with four holes for a Hort 9 motor. Yes. And we're using the AC50 from mm -hmm. High Performance Golf Cars. Right. And that's uh, supposed to be a Hort 9 uh, drop-in. Except the, uh, the uh, connections for the three phases I want on the top dead center so we're not getting our cables into our battery boxes. And so we've had to go have uh, drilled out at a local machine shop. Uh, four different holes just to rotate that motor case. Yeah. Um, so I get my uh, mm -hmm. rotate connections up to here. Right, up at the top. But these ears are set in concrete. This is where they bolt on to the transmission, and you got to remove a little uh, material from the two lower ones to clear those bolts. Are you going to do that with a big hammer? Well, I'm gonna try with the grinder first. A grinder, the, the, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, <laughs> we'll get a hammer in here. We, we we may need a hammer, but and this this is important for this application because this adapter is the adapter that people would buy. Mm. This Beck is always going to be set up like this in a transmission. So mm. this, this is, the is most something you have to do. Commonly available adapter to adapt a Hort nine or a net gain motor to mm -hmm. a VW uh, transmission. They're very commonly available. It comes as a kit with the bolts and the uh, uh, coupler and a uh, uh, taper lock coupler and the hub for the flywheel. It's got for the VW thing. flywheel. It's for got about $850, mm -hmm. but they're commonly available. But on the back, you have a little bit of consideration. You have to knock off a little bit to clear those uh, two big mounting bolts. We do. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's grind her off and uh, and see see a trial fit and see if you can uh, get it to fit onto this transmission. All right. Imagine a future with clean and silent cars. Imagine electric cars with the power to keep us moving, giving us freedom. Imagine cars that run on renewable energy, assuring sustainability. Building a more sustainable future is not child's play. The electric car, part of a sustainable future. It's closer than you think. Enough about us. Let's talk about <laughs> Let's them talk a about little that. bit. Okay, I'm good. I'm tired of talking about us. I'm exhausted. <laughs> this is the bracket from our Mini Cooper. We've torn everything down or looking at it. Tried to revise it. I got some reader mail from Tom Alvary. Alvary? Yeah, I think what? Tom Alvary. White Plains, New York. Yep. Tom is uh, doing a thing he calls the Moon Ray. It's a three-wheeler, kind of a motorcycle with a, a quad front end uh, that he's going to try to do in 400 pounds with lithiums. That's going to be incredible if he gets it done. I like he, it. He uh, sent me a letter. Hello, Tom. Uh, he, he likes the show, uh, but he said we do two things wrong. Only? Uh, <laughs> that was kind of surprising. <laughs> uh, one of them is he said, I've got a really bad habit of putting two fingers across terminals, and he really didn't like to see that. In the United <laughs> States Navy, this is actually referred to as a Marine Corps voltage check, since they would not issue them in the sense of 260 <laughs> multimeters. And we call it Oops. the Marine Corps <laughs> vol <laughs> voltage check. Uh, actually, uh, now I want to say this, but don't do this. I mean, I, I did uh -oh. this 15 hours a day for six years, okay? <laughs> so I'm not trying it. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> uh, if you put your hand across terminals, um, your body's actually not in the circuit unless you're standing in water. Now, you notice they've made fun of my Crocs. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we know why you're wearing the Crocs. Well, they're rubber right. shoes. I can't be... To ground, can't be to ground through my feet. 
um, if I put my fingers across the terminals, I can get quite a jolt through my hand. And I've actually checked 17 kilovolt discharge thyrotrons <laughs> this way on purpose to see if they see were if running. They were running. <laughs> How would you know? Well, it's quicker than getting out the <laughs> getting, meter getting with the 10K probe and all that across stuff. Every now. And all I needed to know was whether it was live. I didn't <laughs> care what it was. It was either getting something or it wasn't. So that's, uh, that's the, the two finger on the 